This video forms part of a series on donning and fit checking P2 or N95 respirators in New South Wales healthcare settings. It is important to refer to the overview on these types of respirators for general guidance. This video does not replace the need to check the manufacturer's instruction for use. To don the respirator, remove it from its packaging and inspect all respirator components for damage prior to use. Cup respirator in one hand with fingertips positioned at nose piece and straps hanging below the hand. Place the respirator in one hand and against your face. Position the respirator under the chin with the nose piece across the bridge of your nose. Keeping one hand on the respirator, pull the top strap over the top of your head and rest it high on the crown of your head. Pull the bottom strap over your head, then position it around your neck and below your ears. The straps must not be twisted. The sequence of applying straps can vary, but the end position of straps remains most important. Using both hands, mould the nose clip to the shape of the nose bridge by pushing inwards while moving your fingertips down both sides of the nose piece. Always use two hands when moulding nose piece. Pinching with one hand may result in improper fit and less effective respirator performance. Make sure that hair, facial hair, jewellery and clothing are not between your face and the respirator as they will interfere with the fit. Cover front of the respirator with both hands, taking care not to disturb its fit. Inhale and exhale sharply. If air leaks around the nose, readjust the nose clip to eliminate leakage by repeating earlier steps. If air leaks at the respirator edges, work the straps back along the sides of your head. If you can't achieve a seal, ask a colleague if available to check that the straps are not twisted or for hair or earrings that might be caught in the seal. After making adjustments, repeat the fit check. If you cannot achieve a proper seal, do not proceed with your clinical activity. See your supervisor for advice. You may need to try a different respirator.